Good morning. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's a great privilege to share the word to you from the northern side of the Orange River near Kolsberg. I'm here on a church camp and it's a great privilege to be with people and to share the gospel and to see renewal in their lives. And part of it is, uh, I want to talk to you about today, is a river, a river of grace, a river that flows through our life. If you read scripture, all out scripture, water and the river is a sign of life. If um, someone thirsts, come and drink and have life. Uh, Psalm 1 says, a tree that is planted close to the river will have life and will bear fruit every time if, throughout the season and today i want to read a specific scripture john 7 verse 37 and it says if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink says jesus he that that, that believe on me as the scripture has says out of his belly will flow rivers of living water out of his belly will flow flow rivers uh, of living water out of the core of your being will flow rivers of living water what does that mean it means that through the holy spirit the lord want to to uh, let flow a river of grace a river of life throughout your inner being you cannot do it unto yourself but through the work of the holy spirit you can do it what's so beautiful about this area uh, it's so green and when i drove to this campsite i couldn't take my eyes off the area it's so green different colors of green and when i started to talk to the people here they said you won't believe during january it looks like the worst drought it looked like the worst winter everything was dead and then it started to rain and rain and rain the grass are so high you cannot even see a springbok and it's so beautiful and uh, that is the difference that water make and the Lord want to do that through you and me in other people's lives but there's one thing just up here is that the dam wall of the Garib Dam with um, yeah I don't know what the English word is slicer and that represent you and me our sin can can close the water and and prevent the water to flow our selfishness can prevent the water to flow to other people but there's one other thing that i saw our hurt from the past our hurt that we carry on our shoulders a uh, hate that we had towards other people we don't want to forgive we don't want to let go that also closes the water so that it cannot flow and what i've seen this weekend if people be, uh, uh, um, repent from their sin and if people take the step to say father in the name of jesus i forgive this and this and this person the water start flowing their life started changing and they say i want to make a difference in my community i want to make a difference in other people's lives i want to go back to my children and my family and say i'm sorry and here's my challenge to you today the lord want to to let rivers of grace rivers of living water through flow through you and me but you and me must go and see what hinders that what is the blockage in our life? Uh, uh, repent your sin, forgive people, and say, Lord, here I am. Let rivers of living water throw, flow out of my inner being. Thank you for listening to this broken English, but I bless you with this message, and may the Lord bless you to be a blessing upon other people. Amen.